welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Joya and today I don't have any notes. I really just want to sit and have a brief chit chat with you guys about something that's very personal. I'm going to be extremely vulnerable here today because I know I'm not the only one that's in these shoes. So hopefully I can help somebody, inspire somebody, encourage somebody, or if nothing else, just hold myself accountable on this journey that I'm about to re-enter for the umpteenth time. But basically, I want to talk about getting my mind right to get my body right. So if you've been around, then you know that my body has been through a lot, um, specifically within the last five or six years. Uh, just to kind of take you back a little bit, I was at my then heaviest weight back in 2016. And so at the top of 2017, um, in January of 2017, I joined Weight Watchers. So Weight Watchers completely changed the way I thought about food. I was so disciplined to that program and it was really easy to be disciplined to it because if you know anything about Weight Watchers, then you know it's not a, um, a takeaway kind of program. You can eat the things that you normally eat um, it's just really kind of teaches you about moderation, right? But this isn't a Weight Watcher commercial. However, I did enjoy Weight Watchers a lot to the point where I even became a Weight Watcher leader and even traveled to some other cities to teach some classes. But anyway, so within six or seven months, I actually became a lifetime member, meaning that I reached my goal and I um, managed that weight for a particular amount of time. So within the first year of being on Weight Watchers, I totally transformed my body, y'all. Like, I mean, the scale said something like maybe 40 pounds lost in that year, but it was more about my mental. It was more about the muscle that I gained versus what the scale said, right? Because in that same time period that I joined Weight Watchers, I got it in in the gym. Like I did so much research. I talked to so many professionals. Um, in that field, basically just trying to learn as much as I can. I didn't just want to lose weight, right? I wanted to learn the science behind dropping fat and gaining muscle. So I even became a certified licensed personal trainer during that time. So I literally went from fat to fit, okay? Your girl was on it from 2017, 2018, early 2019, I was unstoppable. Body was right, okay? So 2019, I found out I had fibroids and for me, it was what this thing that I had never heard of and basically it was what was keeping me from getting a six pack, okay? I had gotten a solid four pack, definitely a two pack, depending on what I ate that day, but I basically was trying to get a six pack and for me, the fibroid was keeping me from that. So my thing was, I'm going to keep working out. I'm going to keep eating right so that I can try to shrink these things or so I can at least still keep the rest of my body in shape, even though I got this bulge in my belly that is just not letting me be great. So I kept working out. I felt like I still looked pretty good. I still kept it tight. My biceps, my back, everything was still tracking, right? So I still felt pretty good about my body because... The fibroid at that time was 11 centimeters and it wasn't doing a whole lot at that time. Like it wasn't giving me a lot of symptoms. So I was still chugging along like I had been. So then 2020, um, the fibroid, aka Jojo, was acting out, right? Like I could barely walk up the street without getting tired. I couldn't tie my shoe without breathing hard. Like this is a girl that was deadlifting almost 300 pounds. And now I can barely pull myself out of the bed because my fibroids had me so exhausted and in excruciating pain. I just felt defeated, okay? Um, for me, it felt like, well, if this fibroid at this time had grown to over 20 centimeters, so I basically looked pregnant um, no matter what I did. So in my mind, it's like, why am I eating right and trying to eat moderate, moderately and work out four or five, six days a week if my body isn't going to show it, right? In my mind, I wasn't thinking about all the 
great benefits that you got outside of the vanity. I was just saying, man, I'm doing all these workouts. I'm busting my butt in the gym. I'm eating right. I'm saying no to things that I know aren't good for me or good for my progress. But in person, I still look like a Oompa Loompa. That's basically where I was with it. Um, you know, people would ask, um, oh, are you trying to hide a pregnancy? Um, are you pregnant? Which tidbit, that is a terrible question to ask any woman. If she's pregnant and she wants you to know, she will tell you. Okay, great. So basically, I had to mentally fight to do right by myself and by my body. I had to push myself even when I felt terrible, even when my period was on for three weeks out of the month, even when I was going through countless tampons and pads throughout the day because my fibroid had me bleeding so monstrously. Um, I had to fight y'all. Like I had to push myself through workouts. I had to bring the weight down some days because I couldn't phantom trying to squat over a hundred pounds when I could barely sit down my body weight. It was hard, okay? So let's fast forward to 2021. I had an open myomectomy. I got the fibroid removed. Um, very difficult recovery process, but once I was cleared by the doctor, about, I don't know, six or eight weeks later, I was back working out. I was I was ready. I was like, all right, JoJo's gone. Your girlfriend to get the six pack, okay? That was March, 2021. So I was on it. I was eating right. I was working out, doing all the things. I had almost got back to where I was as far as lifting. I was almost back to as strong as I had been before. But instead of getting a six pack, I got pregnant. Now, love my baby. He is the best of me. But let me tell you how it feels to recover from an abdominal surgery, start to get your body right, and then boom, belly, okay? Mentally, and I don't know if I shared this with many people, but mentally, I was I was going through it in the beginning, okay? I was working out. I was, of course, still eating right because I was eating for two, well, you know, two. Um, but I was eating, you know, things that were healthy for me and baby, I was working out. I worked out through my entire pregnancy, despite being tired. Um, I did do it in a safe way. I listened to my body, but I was determined to be on it because everybody said, oh, if you work out during your pregnancy, you stay in good health, stay in good shape. Then once you have the baby, it would be easy to get your body back or to recover. And I do think that there's some um, truth in that. But basically, my mental was off the first trimester, okay? Yes, I was still trying to, um, we weren't telling many people about the pregnancy. We actually didn't tell anybody in the first trimester simply because I was um, terrified of what was going to happen because I did still have at least one fibroid that I knew of in there. I found out later in my pregnancy that there are more that had grown back since the open myomectomy. So I was really nervous about being pregnant with those fibroids. So we kept it under wraps. But anyway, so I worked out. I did the best that I could. I gave myself grace. And in February, 2022, I had my baby. He was breech. Baby boy refused to flip for me. So guess what? I had a C-section. So now I have a vertical incision from my belly button down from the open myomectomy and a c-section horizontal incision just below it um so basically i had two open abdominal surgeries um in less than a year mind you my doctor did tell me it was safe to conceive did i think it was gonna happen <laughs> as soon as it did but that's god for you he answers prayers the whole reason i even went through with the myomectomy was because i wanted to make room for babies so praise god for that um, but basically, y'all, my body has gone through a lot. And I try to remind myself of that um, because I was a big yo-yo, okay? I went from 
being fluffy, to being extremely fit, to having this fibroid, to being bulgy where the fibroid was, to getting the fibroid taken out, to starting to get fit again, to getting pregnant, to trying to remain somewhat fit during the pregnancy, and then to have the baby and have to recover from the C-section. So at this point, um, I'm breastfeeding, right? So uh, people always say, well, if you breastfeed, you're gonna lose the weight so fast. And eh, wrong, at least for me, that was not the case. One, I was not in a caloric deficit because I was breastfeeding. And I don't care what anybody tells you, when it comes to true fat loss, it's about calories in and calories out. If you are not in a caloric deficit, you are not going to lose fat, period, okay? So because I was breastfeeding and I wanted to make sure I kept a healthy milk supply, I ate at what, uh, basically a maintenance level, sometimes in a surplus, depending on how my supply was doing. But I wanted to make sure that my number one priority was keeping my baby fed. So for the first nine months of his life, he was exclusively on the breast. And then um, until he was one, just after one year old, I was pumping. So the whole first year was not about me, not about trying to get fit or fine or whatever. It was about keeping my baby fed. So after I stopped breastfeeding, I was like, cool, I'm back. Let me get on it. That's what my body said. That's not what my mind was saying. My mind was somewhat traumatized from just all the things that had happened because I realized while I was physically recovering, I had not mentally recovered from those two open abdominal surgeries within 11 months. Um, hormones, going crazy, pregnancy hormones, fibroid hormones, postpartum hormones, like it was a lot going on, okay? So I said all that to say that now at almost 15 months, I am ready. Y'all, I'm really excited about just getting back on track. I was gonna wait until June to get back on track because I got a lot going on this month. Got some graduations, got some family time, got some boo time coming up. So I was like, well, who gonna be trying to eat right and exercise with all this going on? So let me just wait till June. But I decided that I'm going to get back on track with my workouts, okay? We're gonna do this one step at a time. Um, I'm going to get back with my workouts being five to six times a week. I plan to do three strength training um, workouts a week, plus two to three cardio workouts a week. Um, cardio for me being rowing and walking. So that's the plan. I am extremely excited. And then next month, we're gonna add in nutrition. Now, am I gonna just be eating all crazy every day because I'm not starting in on that section yet? No, I'm still going to make sure I'm eating moderately, make sure I'm eating well because I wanna feel good. And let's face it, when you're eating better, you're feeling better. So I'm just going to focus in. We're gonna zone in on the workouts, okay? Starting this week, I actually started yesterday. Um, I had a push day and then today I had a cardio and core day. And that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. A push day, a cardio core day, a pool day, a cardio core day, a full day. And then an optional, you know, cardio core active recovery kind of weekend. So that's the plan, y'all, I'm ready. I did get on the scale this morning. So I'm starting off and I think it was 183.8. I'll put that somewhere. Your girl toes need to be done. So we're gonna just blur those um, unpainted toenails out. But that's me on the scale where we're starting. Um, I meant to take some measurements, but I didn't. But honestly, I'm just going to get on the scale just kind of for accountability here. I'm really going to just use photos and videos to watch the transformation. The numbers, they just really don't matter to me as much as they used to. I want to go by photos. I want to go by how I feel. I want to go by my mental health. I just want to improve in ways that you can see, in ways that I can feel. So... I'm ready, we're almost 15 months postpartum and I'm ready to get back to me. I'm really excited to see what I can do. I don't want to snap back. I probably already kind of missed that boat anyway. You know, I've had friends who had babies the same time as me who look amazing. They have snapped back like snippety snap, okay? Um, but that's just not my story, it's not my testimony. 
Um, but I just want to feel better, okay? And even with these two workouts that I've done the last two days, y'all, I honestly feel a little bit better. I feel like my discipline is really, it's really back. I'm getting it back. So my mojo is coming back. I know motivation is something that comes and goes. So I really want to get my discipline back because discipline is always what's going to win, okay? So I just wanted to come on here and kind of tell my story, tell you guys what I'm about to get into, hold um, hold me accountable. If you see that I haven't updated you guys in a while, check in and see if I'm still on my journey because I plan to continue this journey. I don't want to call it an eight-week journey, a 12-week journey. It's just going to be a lifestyle change. I plan to come on here ever so often and update you guys with photos and videos and Anything that I see that I think will be beneficial for someone else that may be entering a similar journey. So wish me luck. I'm ready to get, I don't know if I'm going to get a six pack, but I'm ready to get something, something going on. Try to get some of this fat off because let me tell you something. Fat ain't fun, okay? I'm tired of being tired. But anyway, I uh, can't wait to see where we go with this. This is episode one of my postpartum fitness journey. So I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good evening. Bye.